Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, we're going to be solving the exponential equation x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 810. So what we are first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 810 as 81 times 10. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 81 times 10. Now 81, this is equal to 9 to the power of 2. And 10, this is equal to 9 plus 1. So now I'm going to replace 81 with 9 squared and 10 with 9 plus 1. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 9 squared times parentheses 9 plus 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the 9 squared and multiply it with 9 plus 1. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared. And this is equal to 9 squared times 9. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 9 to the power of 2 times 9, that's the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 times 9 to the power of 1. So we can think of a as 9 in this case, m as 2 and n as 1. So we would have a to the power of m plus n, so 9 to the power of 2 plus 1, which is equal to 9 to the power of 3. So now I have 9 to the power of 3 plus 9 to the power of 2 times 1 is simply just 9 to the power of 2. All right, so now what I want to do from here is I'm going to subtract 9 to the power of 3 on both sides. So then I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 9 squared. And I am also going to subtract 9 squared on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 9 to the power of 3 minus 9 squared is equal to 0. And now I'm actually going to rearrange this. So now we have x to the power of 3 minus 9 to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 9 squared is equal to 0. All right, so now to expand this problem a little bit, I'm going to use some properties of algebra. So first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now I'm going to use these properties for x to the power of 3 minus 9 to the power of 3 and x squared minus 9 squared. So first off, for x to the power of 3 minus 9 to the power of 3, x in this case is 9. Or sorry, x is a, and 9 is b. So I'm going to plug in x for a and 9 for b into this formula. So then I get x minus b times x squared plus, sorry, b is 9. So x minus 9 times x squared plus 9x plus 9 squared. And now I'm adding this with x squared minus 9 squared. I'm going to use this. x is, again, a, 9 is b. So I have 
x plus 9 times x minus 9. And this is equal to 0. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to factor out x minus 9 from this. So now I have x minus 9 times x squared plus 9x plus 9 squared is 81 plus x plus 9. And this is equal to 0. Now if I add like terms, we can add 9x and x, and we can add 81 and 9. I get x minus 9 times x squared plus 10x plus 90 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 9 is equal to 0. And I also have x squared plus 10x plus 90 is equal to 0. So for first off, for x minus 9 equals 0, I can simply add 9 on both sides. So I get x is equal to 9. So this is one solution of x. Now for x squared plus 10x plus 90 equals 0, we are going to have to use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So in this case, a would equal 1, b would equal 10, and c would equal 90. So now I have if I plug these values in, negative 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 10 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 90. And we're dividing this by 2 times 1. Now, if I simplify this a little more, I get negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 90 is 360, all divided by 2 times 1 is just 2. Now I have x is equal to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 minus 100 minus 360 is negative 260 divided by 2. Now, x is equal to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 260. This is equal to 4 times 65 times negative 1. You're dividing this by 2. Now, the square root of negative 1, this is equal to i, which is imaginary number. So now I have x is equal to negative 10 plus or minus. Now the square root of 4, that's 2, so I can just put that in the outside. And I have the square root of 65 times i. And we have this over 2. Now, negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, so I have negative 5 plus or minus. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so these two simply cancel out. And I have the square root of 65i. So meaning my two solutions are negative 5 plus the square root of 65i. And... negative 5 minus the square root of 65i. And I also have, remember, x is equal to 9. So these are my three solutions to this equation, two of which are imaginary and one of which are real. Yeah.